if you guys were ever going to make it up here. I hit the ride up here last night. No place to stay. End up gambling last night. It's a great place right here. You know, we got this sun right out here. It's a good time. What you want to use is your lens shade. That, what that's going to do, that's going to help get that sun off of the shade. Uh, it just helps with your saturation on the color. If you forget your lens do shade, it is, you know, if you if you just go ahead in the direction of the sun, you go ahead and just bring your hand out ahead of that, and that's going to block block that sun from getting onto the lens. Just make sure you don't get it out too far, otherwise you're going to actually have your hand in there. What are you doing? It's that tiger that just escaped from Blake Park Zoo. I'm trying to get a picture. Get a real lens, kid. Nice. It's a perfect uh, spot to use your polarizing filter. Uh, what you've got is you've got lights and darks, but your real bright areas, this is going to tone them down and really make them give you a lot more richer color and a lot, lot better uh, detail in what you've got. Especially where you have, like on the dam, you've got a real bright area. Uh, plus, you know, it makes things look much better. Okay, as he kind of puts that in front of the lens, you can kind of tell that the difference in, in the rock formations, how it actually gives it a, so much more saturation look to it. Uh, the different colors, a lot of times you just can't depict that unless it's printed way down. This actually gives you a real good view of all the different tones of each, the bright and the the darker areas. Wow, look at the skies. I can't believe the difference in the skies with this polarizing filter. 